Hello, my digital planner friends. Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to do an overview of Note Shelf 3. They came out with a new updated version and I got the opportunity to check it out and I wanted to show it to you. So that's what we're going to do in this video. If you're new around here, my name is Brandy Reed and I'm with 3 Nail Faith where I create digital planners, digital stickers, digital devotionals, prayer Bible supplies, and now printable things as well. If this is a kind of video that you like, make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and Let's get started to seeing about Note Shelf. Okay, so we are going to review Note Shelf 3. Now, I will say Note Shelf did give me this as a freebie. They gave me the premium so that I can show you um, all about it. I have already loaded one of my new planners. And so I'm going to show you a little bit around it. I'm kind of going to compare this a little bit to GoodNotes because that's mostly what I use and probably mostly what you use. A lot of it is exactly the same, which I really, really liked. And then there's a few things that are kind of new as well. So you have your pen tool, which they have a pencil as well. So they have a pencil, they have the ballpoint, the fountain, the felt, and then the pencil, which I thought was really nice. Um, you have your highlighters and you can convert to shape and draw a straight line. You have, um, you know, the tips. Um, you have your eraser and you can auto select erase the entire, sorry about that, erase the entire stroke, erase highlighter only, erase pencil only, and you can change your size. You have shapes. Now this one I thought was pretty cool. You have different shapes. You can draw lines, you can draw, um, you know, just like a, there's a box. So it automatically draws the box and you can change the size to it, which I thought was really nice. And then of course on the side here, you can change your colors is where this side, where that is at. Um, let's see, your text tool. This one I'm struggling a little bit with. I'm used to being able to just write anywhere on the screen. Well, with Note Shelf, you need to write inside your box, but you still can use the scribble function, which is nice. Um, yeah, so you, there's a little, little um, triangle right here that you can change things. One of the things that I did like, um, you know how you, when you arrange things in GoodNotes, you have to touch arrange and everything. Right on GoodNotes is right in the, right on your toolbar. So I love that. I think that's really nice. Oh, lock. They, I didn't see that earlier. Where you can lock things in place. That's very nice too. I really like that feature. And then you have, you know, the rest of your, your normal ones. One of the things that I did love, um, you can, on your lasso tool, you have your different lassos. But anyway, on your lasso tool, you can just touch and it automatically goes to your, wherever you're wanting to go, which I really thought was really nice. Um, granted, yes, I know you can hold down and be able to, but it's it's just, it's so nice to not have to switch this or hold down and, and select another function. So I really liked that function. And um, I really, really, really liked that. Let's go back here. Um, Another thing that I thought was fun is they have some stickers and and I don't know if it's because I have the they gave me the pro version or if that's just a normal I'm not not quite sure on that part but it has stickers already um, inside of it and so you would tap your stickers that was my recent one so like they have all the days in different shapes um, oops so that's this sticker is this sticker right here. They have different labels, banners, all kinds of different th fun things. The only thing I did not notice, I didn't see how you could add stickers to this. Now, it may be something that you can do, and I just didn't, um, you know how like elements, it's kind of like the elements tool, but I did not see a way to add more. Um, but it could be, again, that I just haven't spent enough time in note shelf right now. But I really liked having these already free for you. They're kind of fun, you know, and you can resize them. 
delete them right there. The other thing I saw was they had emojis, which I thought was kind of fun. At first I was like, well, how do you use it? It didn't show up, but it comes up here and then you just tap. So you just tap to get them. And then to get rid of them, I thought, well, you know, you'll just lasso them. Well, lasso doesn't, oh, now it does work. Okay, maybe I didn't have it right before. Lasso them or the eraser button works as well, which I thought was kind of fun. The eraser button will get rid of them. Um, then you also have your pictures. Now, if you tap, oops, it was tap and hold. Tap and hold, you can customize your toolbar to however you want, um, whatever you want on your toolbar. And you can move them around as well by using this little button here. But you can add all of these different things to it. And I thought this was really nice. You can request a shortcut adding added. So if you have an idea for a different kind of shortcut, you can request it, which I thought was really, really nice. Uh, so that's my toolbar. Again, you have, you know, where you can check out different slides on your planner. This is your on off button right here. We don't need that anymore. Uh, you can change, you know, do the different things right in here. Um, you can change, like it automatically comes as vertical, but I like my scrolling as horizontal, so I went ahead and changed that. Oh, this is another thing that I liked. It's got a show status bar where you can have this top bar come off if you want. Your stylus, you can change different settings on your stylus. You can see there's more settings allow hyperlinks that kind of thing um you can go to page zoom box presentation so i think the only thing that i really did not like and would be the text box but that's probably just me i mean you can oops i didn't get it in there right where you can make it larger so i guess it's not really that big of a deal um down here you can set up how you want your colors, your different, you can set what you want your font to be, your sizing, so you can set it as default. And then they also have an H1, H2, H3. Um, and these are just different set, different ones that you can choose for body, caption, like I had put noteworthy in there. So I do like that aspect. Uh, and you can pull up your keyboard if you need to. So it is really, really nice. The other thing I was just finding, go to templates and they have, again, I don't know if this is because it's pro or because it's just what they do. They have different planners and things already in it. Some more stickers. And like when I touch on it, it doesn't say purchase like GoodNotes does. So that to me tells me this is all free. Um, they have some different study planners, but like, here's the colorful planner. And if you want portrait or landscape, which I think is pretty cool too, that you can choose between the different um, ones. So they have health. Let's say if you're looking for health kind of things. And it looks like all this is free in, inside their templates, which is really nice. And they can do recordings, bookmarks, you know, your photos. So I think it's definitely an upgrade from Note Shelf 2. I had Note Shelf 2 and I didn't really like it. Um, but after looking at Note Shelf 3, I really, really do like it. Now, again, they did give me this, but this is all of my own, my own opinions. They didn't tell me anything about it. They just said, here's Note Shelf, review it. So this is my honest view review on it. I really do like it. It looks like it's got a lot of really nice, nice updates. And I may switch to Note Shelf. We'll see. I may, or I may do some, some good notes videos and some, um, Note Shelf videos. If that makes sense. So we'll see. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you've used. Do you use Note Shelf? Do you like Note Shelf? Um, have you tried their Note Shelf 3? And 
yeah. If this is a video you liked, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single video. And I hope you have a wonderfully blessed day.